So for um, number 17, we are going to find a formula for the uh, general nth term, assuming that it follows the same pattern, right? So we have that a1 is equal to 1 half, a2 is equal to uh, minus 4 over 3, a3 is equal to 9 over 4, um, a4 is equal to negative 16 over 5, and a5 is equal to 25 over 6, and so on. Um, and so immediately we do see a, the first thing about the pattern is that we oscillate between plus, negative, plus, negative, and plus. And so um, to account for this changing of signs, we, we need a negative 1 to the power of something, right? Because negative 1 to the power of odd numbers gives us negative, and to the power of even numbers gives us positive. However, we begin with a positive. So it's like it's evaluating a um, an even number when we begin. So we do have to add n plus 1, right? Because when we go a1, this is going to go minus 1 to the power of 1 plus 1, to the power of two, which is positive one. When we put um, when we put a two, it's going to give us a two plus three, which is oh, two plus one actually, um, two plus one, which is minus one to the power of three, which is minus one. Um, so we can see that the negatives are accounted by four by uh, minus one to the power of n plus one. Okay. So once we have this, let's look at all the rest. Um, it appears that on the denominator. I'm just going to actually put this here. On the denominator, we go um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. So it just looks like we're doing the natural numbers, right? But compare the number and the index. Compare 2 and 1, 3 and 2, 4 and 3. So it always appears that it's the index plus 1, right? 5 and 4 and so on. And so we can see here that the bottom is just going to be n plus 1. It just keeps adding, but it doesn't begin at 1, it begins at 2. Um, cool. So what about the top? Well, the top, it just looks like it's, let's see, if we compare it, the index, um, we have 1, I should have done this in a different color, we have 1, 1, 4, 2, 9, 3, 16, 4, and 25, 5. So it appears that it's just the index squared, right? Because 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, and so on. And so... Um, let me just go back to it, remove all the stuff. And so we can see here that the top is just going to be the index squared. Um, and so our a n is going to be minus 1 n plus 1 times n squared over n plus 1. And that is the general formula of the sequence. So. Um, this, this part right here, it accounts for the plus and minuses that keep changing, right? The n plus 1 accounts for the 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. And the n squared, it accounts for the top, which goes 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, um, and so on. And so this is the general formula.